Hello, how you doing? It's Mr. Do The Math, and today we're going to talk about addition and subtraction properties and dealing with proofs, right? Um, so far, we've dealt with um, supplementary angles being two angles that equal 180 degrees, complementary angles are two angles that equal 90 degrees. Uh, we talked about perpendicular lines form 90 degree angles. We talked about uh, congruent segments. What else have we talked about? That's it? Pretty much in a nutshell, right? Yeah. So today we're going to talk about, oh, we talked, we said something, all right. Today we're going to add, we're going to add segments together and we're going to subtract segments and we're going to add angles together and subtract angles. All right, so for instance, we just start into it, right? So if we have this segment here, bam, bam, this is A, B, C, and D, right? If I say A, B is seven and I say C, D is seven and I say, uh, B, C is three, right? Straight off, off the bat, we see that uh, segment A, B is, A, B is congruent to what segment? C, D. C, D, good, right? All right, so what if I added B, C to both of these segments? What would happen? Let's see, all right? So if I did A, B plus B, C, I would get uh, seven plus three, right? That's how much? 10. 10, right? Uh, what if I take a, I take B, C and I add it to C, D? That's again, 10. three plus seven, which is? 10. 10. With that being said, we've come to our, our, our new theorem, right? That basically says uh, if congruent segments are added to a segment, so congruent segments, A, B, and C, D are added to a segment, then their sum is congruent, right? That's, that's right here at uh, theorem eight, right? Congruent segments, bam, bam. You add B, C, you add B, C to uh, A, B, you get 10. You'll take BC and you add it to a CD, you also get 10. So, whenever you add congruent segments to a segment, you get congruent segments again. All right? So, with that being said, you have AC is going to be congruent to uh, BD. Right? That's your, newest, that's your newest proof. Are we good so far? I mean, that's your newest theorem, right? All right, let's go a step further. Let's look at angles. If I take this angle here, right? And I draw three uh, three angles inside of it. So we're gonna call it E J H F G, right? If I say this is 50 degrees, this is 50 degrees, right? Again, we have angle E F J is congruent to angle H F G. Does everybody see that? Give me a head nod. Let me know you see that. You see that? Yes. Okay. Now. These two angles are congruent. So if I add JFH to EFJ and I add JFH to HFG, they're going to be congruent. So let's let's give me give me some ambiguous number for this. Uh, give me a minute. Say it again. Thirty-seven. All right. Thirty-seven. All right. So if this angle is thirty-seven degrees, and I add if I add EFJ, which is 50 degrees, plus uh, JFH, which is 37 degrees, I'm going to get how much? 87 degrees. If I do the same thing with the other one, it's going to be HFG, 50, plus 37. That's also 87 degrees. Right? So, just like this one, instead of it being segments, it's angles now. So, if congruent, if congruent angles are added to an angle, then its sum are That's it. Y'all y'all feel that? That's okay. 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 All right. Let's go to some congruent parts. All right. So we're gonna move over here. Let's look at this picture here. We got one was it's something like. Let's make it. Let's make it closer to what the picture looks like. So you got this segment cutting off like that, something like that, right? 
So we're going to say this part is congruent to this part. And we're going to say this part is congruent to this part. Give me letters. Give me the letters for here. Say it again. K-R-N-M. And who? PSO. PSO? Yep. Okay, so looking at this picture, tell me who's congruent. Yeah, Keanu, give me a uh, give me a pair of congruent segments. Give me a pair of congruent segments. S O is congruent to what? K R. K R. Right? Give me another pair of congruent segments. Yeah, Ty. R M congruent to P S. R M is congruent to who? P S. P S, right? So we have two pair of congruent segments, right? Now, if we add these two segments together, if we add these two segments together, they're going to be congruent as well because congruent segments added to congruent segments are congruent. Let me read it clear. Let me clearly read it. All right, so but before I go there, because these are congruent and these are congruent, when I add these together, you end up with first KM and you end up with uh, PO. They're going to be congruent. All right? And so the reading says, uh, if congruent segments are added to congruent segments, like uh, congruent segments, then their sum is congruent. Right? If congruent segments are added to congruent se congruent segments are added to congruent segments, then their sums is congruent. Right? So if you throw numbers there, if this is seven and this is eight, and this is eight and this is seven, both of those segments are fifteen. Right? So uh, the high school the high school geometry of that would be these would be segments, right? I mean not segments but expressions. Okay? All right, the same thing applies to angles, okay? You guys ready to do some proofs? You ready to do a proof? Let's do a proof. Okay. All right, let's do a proof that requires some work. So let's turn to page. Let's turn to, oh, let's, let's do subtraction first, all right? Let's do subtraction first. All right, so let's go to page 84. All right, let's go to page 84. Page 84. All right. Page 84. All right, so you got, uh, let's draw this segment here. Let's, let's triangle, right? You got O, N, K, R, P, right? O, N, K, R, P. Um, based on this picture, they're going to say O, N is congruent to K, P, right? And it happens that, K, P. Well, I'll go with that. Right? They also said that NO is congruent to PR. Okay? So with that said, you have a big congruent segment, and then inside of that congruent segment, you got congruent segments. Right? So, as a result, you can say that uh, NK is going to be congruent to KR. Right? Because, let's throw numbers there. Give me a number for KO. 37.592. All right, 37, right? We'll call it 38, right? 38. All right, so if that's 38, this is also 38. We agree with that? Yeah. All right, so now give us a measure for NO. Somebody said 56. He said 56. Okay. Let's make it, let's make it smaller than 38. 16. All right, let's rock with 16. All right, so both of these are 16, all right? So mathematically, let's do the math here. So if that's 38 and that's 16, how big, how, what would we do to find NK? 38 minus Yeah, it's a track. 38, that's uh, KO minus 16, which is NO, which is what? 22. 22, right? So this is 22, right? You would do the same thing for this one, right? That's uh, KP, it's 38. Minus 16, which is RP. RP. You get 22, right? As a result, see, now you can say that those are congruent, all right? So 
the theorem, the theorem reading for that is this, right? If a segment, if a segment is subtracted, subtracted from congruent segments. So a segment subtracted from congruent segments, right? Then their differences are congruent. You okay? So you got a big segment, you got congruent segments inside. So that's what you look for. You look for the relationship for the biggest segment, Courtney, and then you look for the relationship to, for the broken up segments. Because those two are congruent and the big angle, the big segments are congruent then the smaller segments are going to be congruent as well because here's the math behind it, right? All right, same thing applies to angles. Do we need to see what an angle looks like? Let's look at it in, um, let's look at it in this sense of this proof here. All right, so let me draw this picture. We okay, shall we? Okay, all right, I'm going to draw this picture here. Uh-oh. So I got this. And we got this, right? So we got O, N, P, R. And then I said this angle is congruent. And then you got these angles are congruent. So given, you said given that angle NOP is congruent to NPO, right? And you got ROP is congruent to RPO. They want you to prove that NOR is congruent to NPR, National Public Radio. Is that what it is? National Public Radio? NPR, right? All right, so looking at this information, how many steps do you think we have? Uh, how many four. steps do we need? Four. Three? Four? Four. All right, first things first, we're going to identify the givers. N O P, that's the big angle. N O P and N P O. That's the big part. They can grow. Then they said R O P, that's the little one. And R P O, that's the other little one. Okay? So, in order to figure out this measure, we would have to subtract this one from the big one. Okay? So let's write it down. Here you, here you go. Reasons. Reasons, uh, C S R, right? Statement reason, right? N O P congruent to N P O, right? That's given, right? Then you got rope, rock, congruent to R P O. That's also given, right? Uh, is there any other uh, intermediate step that we need to include? Say it again. N R and N P R. Right. That's it. Well, because these are congruent, because these are congruent and these are congruent, we can we can say that N R O N O R is congruent to N P R. Why? Why? Assume from diagram. No, sir. Oh. If what is it again? If congruent angles. Are right, subtracted from congruent angles. Then the differences are congruent. Then the differences are congruent. Very good. That's it. If congruent angles, bam, bam, are subtracted from congruent angles, then their differences are congruent. So that's a one, two, three step proof. Okay? Yes, ma'am. How would you know that they're being subtracted? How do you know they're being subtracted? Okay, so you, you look at what they're what they're giving, what they want you to prove. They want us to prove that a smaller angle than the big angle is being uh, that is congruent, right? If it were the other way around, if it said these two are congruent, and they wanted you to prove that the big angle was uh, that that the big angle is congruent, then that would be a, a result of adding these two angles together. So that's when you would use the addition uh, property, okay? 
All right, let us see. Any questions? No? It's pretty much it in a nutshell. All right, so um, if you have any questions, you can comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Do The Math out.